All right, so we're going to start with the equation a minus r on f of n equals 0. And my claim is going to be that f has the form of a constant times r to the n, and that's true for all n, positive, negative, and 0. So we'll first start with the case that n is greater or equal to 0. So calculate the value f of 0. Just what is f of 0? That's, that's some value. Let's call it c. And now we're going to prove by induction, we're going to prove the following statement. f of n is c times r to the n, and this is going to be true for all n greater or equal to 0. OK. Now, how do you do a proof by induction? Go back to week. Two, base case, n equals 0. On the left-hand side, we have f of 0, and that's c. And on the right-hand side, we have c times r to the 0. But part of the hypothesis was that r is not 0. So. This is c times 1, which is c. So the left-hand side and the right-hand side are equal. So the statement we're trying to prove is true in the base case. <coughs> then you assume, for the inductive step, that f of k is equal to c times r to the k for some k greater than or equal to 0. And then you look at f of k plus 1. Okay. All right, f of k plus 1. How do I get f of k plus 1? Okay, so I go back up to the advancement operator equation. a minus r on f of n is 0. So what's a minus r on f of k? It's the advancement operator on f of k is f of k plus 1. And r times f of k is just r times f of k. So those, that difference is 0. That's translating the top equation into the specific value for k. So let's rewrite that. f of k plus 1 is equal to r times f of k. But we've already seen that f of k is c r to the k. And then the r times r to the k is c r to the k plus 1 done. So that's a perfectly good, very elementary proof by induction of the case of f of n being c times r to the n when n is non-negative. And now, what do you do second? Case two, n is negative. And now you just repeat the induction. Same proof. So minus n behaves like when n is negative, the positive integer. So the same argument works. And so every solution has the form some constant 
times r to the n. And where is the c? Where c is just the value f of 0. All right. So there is the answer. And that, by the way, it's, it's important. That's true regardless of what r is. It could be real, complex, as long as it's not 0. As long as it's not 0. OK, now, any questions about what we just did? It might, you know, it might appear a little vague to you, like mysterious. What's he doing? What's he doing? One-dimensional vector spaces are not very interesting. OK. <laughs> OK. So I say it's an easy induction. It will be done in class. It, it was just done. 